Hey guys, so this week I will be doing week 32 update and I'm really sorry I've been kind of just off track with all these pregnancy vlogs but my dad actually borrowed my camera for something that he had to film in his house and that kind of just took me completely off track. I had filmed the videos regularly but then I wasn't able to upload them or edit them or do anything like I normally would because the SIM card with those videos were with him so that kind of just got me a little unorganized but hopefully after this video we are back on track and we'll stay on track until Audrey arrives that's the plan <clears throat> so this week I have been kind of an emotional wreck and I know I mentioned that last week but this week has been a hundred times worse and I call it now the Audrey blues basically because I just really really feel like no one really cares about this pregnancy and I received well we received a lot of attention with when I was first pregnant with Aria and this time around I just feel like my friends and family don't seem to ask much don't seem to participate as much as they used to they just don't seem to care and combining that with just the hormones that I'm going through and the emotional week that I'm going through I've literally sat there and just cried to Jamie and just been like you know nobody cares you don't care my mom doesn't care nobody cares about Audrey and it's been you know just um, a sad I guess time in my pregnancy and I'm not crying I just have the the air vent kind of just going straight into my eye so it's making me cry <laughs> but um, I don't know I feel that a lot um, to add to that my mom is not gonna be taking care of Aria anymore so that has created a lot of stress um, <laughs> in this stage in my pregnancy once Audrey gets here then I'm gonna be home for three months and I can take care of both of them without a problem but it <clears throat> kind of creates a huge question mark as to what's gonna happen when I have to go back to work who's gonna take care of both of my daughters so that's kind of been very stressful to deal with but I'm sure we'll come up with something we always seem to figure things out and everything seems to work out fine so I'm stressed but at the same time I'm trying not to stress until the time comes so it's it's just a big kind of life change I think it's a little bit easier this time just because when I was pregnant with Aria I was a first-time mom I didn't want anybody to even touch my baby so I definitely was having a hard time leaving her at a daycare or anything like that <clears throat> but this time around I feel like I'm okay if I do have to resort to leaving both of them in daycare which is not what I want but at this point we don't really have another choice so it's in the works we don't really know what the plan is gonna be yet but that's kind of just happening this week and really stressing me out um, what else I've had heartburn every single night and I'm at the point where it's getting really painful it's not fun at all and at night I try to avoid taking Tums or anything for the heartburn so at night it's just really hard because as I'm laying down it's just the heartburn it gets painful it gets really really uncomfortable and really painful and I'm trying to not take the Tums so I'm trying to avoid it and just try to fall asleep but sometimes I can't and I have to take Tums like the cu past couple of nights I've had to tell Jamie to go pick up some Tums from downstairs and bring them upstairs because I can't even go to sleep because I have such chest pain and it's, I, I remember the first time I had heartburn with Aria I thought I was having a heart attack because it was so painful and it just sucks overall that's a huge symptom that I have when people ask me how my pregnancy with Aria was it was really perfect the only thing I had was heartburn that was the only thing I can complain which is pretty good compared to most pregnancies so I am grateful but gosh heartburn sucks and it's regardless of what I eat regardless of what I drink it's just bad every single night so that sucks um, what else I've been having a really difficult time moving kind of if I'm laying down watching a TV with Jamie and we're just watching a movie and then he's kind of like oh come over so we can cuddle I literally need his help to kind of help me get to him because I can't use my stomach muscles anymore I am enormous and my stomach muscles are probably completely stretched out so I really it, it's funny because I'm like just help me and he just pulls me but it's really hard until they're it she, she moves and then moves and then moves and they're almost timed like every two seconds it's a little bump in your in your belly so that's how I know their hiccups and they're not huge movements obviously it's just but you just know 
it, it, it's kind of almost too choreographed to be just regular movements. It has to be hiccups. Vitamins! I've been so bad with my vitamins and I can definitely feel it. Um, my hair is not doing too well and I think it's because I've been missing a few vitamins here and there. I just kind of use these. I'll show you because I have them in my car so I remember taking them but I don't. These are just um, the ones I take. They're just regular brand is this? Spring Valley prenatal. One pill per day and this is the size of them. Okay, not too huge, but I've been really bad, and actually today I haven't taken them, so I should take them right now. Um, so I'll take it one day and then forget the second day. Ugh, really bad, and my hair has been disgusting. That's how I know. And I've gone back to pregnancy vlogs with Aria. My hair was so pretty, and it was because I was pregnant. Now my hair sucks. <sighs> okay. And one last thing, we are going to start preparing for our placenta encapsulation. I've mentioned this in the in past videos, but I haven't mentioned that I'm thinking about doing it myself. And I know that may sound a little crazy, but I've done a lot of research um, and I don't feel comfortable having anybody do it. I know that may sound completely crazy, but just everything you need to do and how the process is and how you can really easily mess things up. I really don't feel com comfortable having anyone do it. So I really, plus I just like doing things myself. Really that's with anything. Um, and it doesn't seem that hard. I feel like I can definitely do it. And worst case scenario, if something goes wrong, I could just throw the whole thing out. So it's, it's something I really wanna do. I'll probably be making a separate video kind of just explaining our thought process behind this decision and what got us to this point but basically um, this is something that we really want to do and I will start probably this weekend picking up everything all the supplies that we need for that and I feel like I should start already packing my hospital bag and the diaper bag and I, I don't even know but I feel like she's gonna come before and I have had that um, that video I'll link the video down below because I don't know which pregnancy vlog it, it was from was it even a pregnancy vlog well I'll link it below where you can actually basically estimate or guess the due date the pounds and the inches and I think that's it um, and I'm gonna keep that going till the very end so I'm really excited about that but I feel like she's gonna come before and I didn't feel like this with Aria my husband says June 15 which is almost three weeks uh, yeah, almost three weeks before her actual due date. My C-section is planned for July 1st, but her actual due date was for July 6th, just that once you have a C-section, they have to do it a week before. They don't let you go completely at 40 weeks. You um, deliver the baby at 39 weeks. I think I'm gonna go before, so I kinda wanna have just everything completely prepared. And I'm crazy blabbing this, this vlog, but I'm also, I ordered a new diaper bag because now that I have two babies, I'm going to be needing a much larger bag and um, and especially because they're both in cloth diapers so it's kind of bulky when you have cloth diapers in your diaper bag and then when you add two babies to that equation you need a really large bag so the bag that I ordered was the Petunia Pickle Bottom Abundance Bag in what was the print it's the damask print I'm obsessed with that print and I am one to always have kind of neutral diaper bags I've had two one which is just a regular coach print and the other one which is all black but i fell in love with this bag and i'm completely obsessed and i can't wait to get it i actually ordered it on this website and they were sold out and once i ordered it they sent me an email and i had paid for it and everything they said we're canceling your order because we no longer have this item so i was super upset then I reordered it and then I got another email saying this item is really popular so it's going to get shipped on May 27th. So I still don't have my hopes up. I'm thinking that they're going to call me at the last minute and say they're canceling my order as well. So that's been really frustrating but hopefully I get the bag soon and I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm obsessed with that bag. So that's it. Now I'll go ahead and show you the baby bump once I get home because I am at work in the parking lot because I by the time I get home there's no sunlight anymore so I can never really film these videos when I need to 
so I decided to film it here with Sun and once I get home I'll just show you the baby bump I'll show you guys a little little preview that's the baby bump yep so I'll see you guys next week for my week 33 update and let me know if you guys have any questions bye guys okay guys so here is my belly at 32 weeks and as you can see my belly button is out and I really don't mind it when I would trying to conceive and looking at other bellies I was always like oh I hope my belly button doesn't come out but I really don't care I think it looks kind of cute <laughs> and it goes perfectly back to normal so I really don't mind it here it is from the side and then here is the belly it's huge you can see a little vein here I don't know why a few little veins but that's about it it's from the front from the other side and again you can see like a little vein that runs up here I don't know if it's maybe because when your skin stretches your veins start showing a little bit more but that is it that's my belly at 32 weeks pregnant